Hello, well, here's a very interesting question. Uh, it's actually the last question on a recent GCSE maths exam. And uh, a student has presented it to me and asked me to solve it. So here's one way to solve it. So let's look at the information. There are only green pens and blue pens in a box. So I'm going to put a G and a B, green and blue. I'm going to say there are little g green pens because it says there are three more blue pens than green pens. So if we write g plus three, that shows that the number of blue pens is three more than the green ones. It also says there are more than 12 pens in the box. Well, let's have a look at this for a minute. We actually can see how many there are altogether. The total must be that plus that, which is 2g plus 3. And we've just been told that 2g plus 3 is more than 12. Simon is going to take at random two pens from the box. The probability that Simon will take two pens of the same colour is 27 over 55. And we've got to work out the number of green pens in the box. So we know that the probability of getting a green and a green or a blue and a blue is 27 over 55. So that's the rules we've got to play by. So let's remind ourselves of what we know. We've got green pens, we've got blue pens. So the green I'm representing with a little g and the blue by g plus three. We know that the total is two g plus three and let's work from there. So we're gonna draw a tree diagram, green, blue, green, blue, green, blue. Now for it to be a green pen on the first pick, probability of that occurring is g out of 2g plus 3. There are 2g plus 3 pens altogether and there are g green pens. On the second pick though, there's now one less green pen, so it's g minus 1, and there's one less pen, so actually we've got a total of 2g plus 2. On the second pick, if we go for blue, we've still got g plus 3, and we've still got, well, we've also got 2g plus 2 as the total number of pens because we've already taken a green one. Let's go back to the first pick, g plus 3 over 2g plus 3, so the blues out of the total. Now if we pick green this time, we haven't picked green here, so we've still got g greens, but we have only got 2g plus 2 pens, and if we pick blue this time, we must have only g plus 2 pens out of the total of 2g plus 2. Now I'm just going to check this. So on the first pick, g green pens out of a total of 2g plus 3, g plus 3 blue pens out of a total of 2g plus 3. Second pick, obviously the total this time on all of them is 2g plus 2. If we pick green first, then it's g minus 1. If we pick green first, there's still g plus 3 blues. If we pick blues first, there's still g greens. And down here, if we pick blue first, there's now only g plus 2 blues. So multiplying along here, we're interested in g, g and b, b. We're not interested in these branches at all. So let's multiply along these two. So this one is going to be g times g minus 1 all over 2g plus 3 times 2g plus 2. And this one is going to be g plus 3 times g plus 2. We're following the b's here. All over the same denominator 2g plus 3 times 2g plus 2. So that's that situation. Now we need these and these. So altogether we have got g times g minus 1 plus g plus 3 times g plus 2 all over 2g plus 3 times 2g plus 2. So that plus that all over the same denominator, because we're just adding two fractions, so the denominator is the same. So let's repeat that again. We've got g times g minus 1 plus 
g plus 3, g plus 2, all over 2g plus 3, 2g plus 2, and now we're coming back to what we were told in the first place, that the probability of that happening is 27 out of 55. So this is what we get if we get two green pens or two blue pens. So I'm going to multiply these out and simplify them. On the top line, we're going to have g squared minus g plus g times g is another g squared plus 2g plus 3g plus 6. And at the bottom, I've got 2g times 2g, so I've got 4g squared plus 2g times 2, that's 4g, 3 times 2g, that's 6g, and 3 times 2 is 6. Let's simplify that. We've got 2g squared. We've got a minus g, but plus 5g, so in fact plus 4g plus 6, all over 4g squared plus 10g plus 6. Now you can see that all of those are multiples of 2, so we can actually divide through by 2. So I'm going to move it down here and say I've got g squared plus 2g plus 3 all over 2g squared plus 5g plus 3. And we know that that's equal to 27 over 55. And now we're going to do a little bit of uh, interesting maths called cross multiplying. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with cross multiplying, but basically the top there multiplied by that there, so that times that, is equal to that times that. So let's do this bit first. So we've got 55g squared plus 110g plus 355s are 165 is equal to 27 times 2g squared, so that's 54g squared, plus 527s are 135, so 135g, plus 327s, which are 81. And now I'm going to subtract all of the right-hand side from the left-hand side. So let's do it bit by bit. 55g squared minus 54g squared, so that's just g squared, plus, oh no, it's not going to be a plus, it's going to be a minus. 110g minus 135g is minus 25g, and this time it is a plus. 165 minus 81 is 84, and that equals zero. So what we've got now is a very neat little quadratic expression. So here's that quadratic expression, g squared minus 25g, plus 84 equals 0. And we're going to factorise it. So we'll have a g and a g. We need two numbers that multiply together to make 84, and which are going to help us to get the 25 in the middle. And that is going to be 4 times a 21. Minus 4, minus 21. Because g times g will give us g squared, minus 21g minus 4g gives us the minus 25g and minus 4 times minus 21 gives us the plus 84. Solving this tells us that g is equal to 4 or g is equal to 21. Now let's assume g is 4. That would mean, if you remember, the green and the blues, the green we represented by a g and the blues were g plus 3. So if green is 4, blue would be 7, but 4 plus 7 is 11. And if you remember, we had to, be, we had to have more than 12 pencils in the box. So I think it's going to be the 21, and 21 plus 3 is 24. The question we had was, how many green pencils are there? The answer is... 21. And you can actually check this by putting these figures into the probability tree, and you will find that it will work out. So there we are. Final answer, number of green pencils is 21. Thanks for watching.